Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more K-pop audition tips and information like this. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing an audition tutorial for both Blockberry Creative and High Up Entertainment. So if you guys don't know already, they are the entertainment of Luna and Stacey. I just decided to put them together because why not? They were short videos anyway. So if you guys want to check out more audition tutorials, I have a full playlist right here. I'll leave it in the description box. And if you guys want me to do an audition tutorial for a company I have not done yet, you can join Patreon. So you can recommend videos there. And yeah, let's get on with the video. So right now I've just searched out High Up Entertainment on Google and one of the first things that you should see is their about sections on their highupend.com site. So this is their website. You can go on to this little corner and tap on it and you can go into audition and just click that. Who will climb up to the top, very mysterious. We are waiting for you to climb high up to the top with high up. Wow, they're puns. Oh, I can't. <laughs> so online auditions area, I'm not sure why they actually combine vocal rap dance into a singer, but in Korea, kasu basically means singer, but it also means idol at the same time, which is why I think it's like that in the English translations. There's also acting and there's also producing because if you guys don't know, the Basically, the boss of High Up Entertainment is a producer himself, a very popular one, Black Eye Pearson, and he is a producer. However, you can also do composing or string arrangement. So qualification to apply for online auditions. Anyone can apply regardless of gender, nationality, educational background, or age. So how to apply for the online audition is number one, simple personal information, contact, name, age, current residence, height and weight are required, uncorrected picture, one telegraph and one front. So what telegraph photo means is your entire body showing everything and then one front is mainly just for your face. So they mean don't edit it when it comes to uncorrected picture, so don't edit it. Number three, a video file of singing, dancing, or acting should be identified as singing, dance, dancing, acting in person. So um, I don't know why they really clarified this, but basically means that it should be you, shouldn't be some drawing. I don't know, like just, just do it. it. I don't know why they added this to confuse people. <laughs> Number four is submit the above information at audition at highup dash ent.com so all you have to do is basically put in all of this information put in the pictures put in the videos and then email it to that at and number five the subject of the mail shall be the applicant's name date of birth so it would be hong gil dong da 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 so for me it would be irene beep um zero <laughs> five one two one four because that is my birthday so that should be the subject and number six, in case of producer auditions, attach own pure creation, no limit on the number of songs. So they also want you to put in like a sample of what you've did. And it doesn't even matter if you have 10,000 of them, just put them all in as long as they're like worthy, I guess. Precaution, email application is the first round of applications and only those who pass the first round will be contacted individually and have the second round of closed audition opportunity. Those who passed will be notified by phone or text message and received materials will not be returned. So they won't return the video to you. They won't return the pictures. Quite um, self-explanatory. That is basically it. Very simple, very basic. So right now I have just searched up Blockberry Entertainment on Google and the second thing you should see is the Blockberry Creative website. So we're just going to click onto that. Look, gorgeous, Luna, we love it. My bias. Oh, my bias. Also my bias. Okay, this is not that video. <laughs> so we're going to go on to audition on the top right. Just click that. And I checked before to see if there was like some kind of English translation, but there wasn't. So I'm just going to be translating it on the spot. Ish. Yeah, yeah. There's like some English, but it's not really 100% English. So don't mind me. I'm going to be stuttering a little bit because this is like the first time I'm really reading this. However, the audition steps. So first is the email application. Number two is the judges will review your application. Number three is a camera test. And they'll also make you come to the entertainment to do like a private held audition. And then number four is the final audition. And the areas of recruitment recruitment and the areas of recruitment would be vocal 
You would have to sing like a verse, which means like up till the chorus. In some situations, this could be the chorus to the hook or just the bridge, but make sure it's within that time frame because you also don't want it to make it too short or too long. Just make sure you have that nice, I guess, time frame that shows your talents best, even if it isn't necessarily like a specific part of the song that's like di directly chorus to the hook. So just keep it 30 seconds to a minute and any song is allowed and for rap it is basically the same thing, no music, no background music. For dance, any song that you want up until the chorus and then for acting, it would be any scene that you want to do within a minute, it says. So how to apply, you would have to do use your email, which is this, you can just copy and paste it from the website and also you can put in firstly your name, your age, your height, your weight, your gender, your category, your address, your email or your phone number, and some experience if you do have any. And the pictures that they look for is a face close-up, your side profile, your entire body, I guess, and then a free pose, actually. This one's unique, so I'm going to mention this. Yeah, so they want you to do any kind of pose. So if you have like a really good pose that works with you best, Preferably don't do like a V because it's so basic. Something that makes you different is what it basically says. And also add those pictures. They do look for quite a few pictures, so make sure to include all of them. If you don't know what kind of pictures to include, you can always look up some ideas on just places like Google or Instagram, maybe poses that elongate yourself. If you're short, let's say for example, and just make sure to just use the best out of this. Not a lot of companies give this kind of opportunity. And it says notice make sure to add every single thing that they ask for so don't like exclude one of these things they want to look for every single one of them so that is basically it it's a fairly simple audition all you have to do is add all of these things and then you know email them it yeah some people could be wondering well is this audition for non-koreans or for koreans because there is no specific english translation or anywhere that says any nationality any age but usually when companies don't have these specific restrictions like whatever age whatever nationality that it usually means that they don't care and especially for the blockberry creative they look at more so like your talent rather than what what kind of person you are, I guess. So make sure to note that as well and don't comment that question, please. As I said, you can always check out more audition tutorials in this playlist. Make sure to comment down this emoji if you made it until here. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!